Municipal Gum by Ujiru Nunuckle. Gum tree in the city street, hard bitumen around your feet. Rather, you should be in the cool world of leafy forest halls and wild bird calls. Here you seems to me like that poor cart horse castrated, broken, a thing wrong, strapped and buckled, its hell prolonged, whose hung head and listless mien express its hopelessness. Municipal gum, it is dolorous to see you thus, set in your black grass of bitumen, O oh, fellow citizen, what have they done to us? Welcome to Lit Poetry and our discussion of the poem Municipal Gum by Indigenous Australian poet Ujuru Nunakal. Nunakal was born in 1920 and began writing poetry in the 1950s under her married name of Katha Walker. It wasn't until later in her life that she changed her name. Importantly, this occurred in 1987 and coincided with Nunakal's politically charged announcement that she would return her MBE her member of the British Empire that was awarded to her in 1970, in protest over the Australian government's intention to celebrate the 1987 Australian Bicentenary, which she described as 200 years of sheer, unadulterated humiliation for Aboriginal people. Her Indigenous surname, Nunakal, is taken from the Nunakal tribe of Stradbroke Island, located off the coast of Queensland, Australia, from which she is a direct descendant. While her first name, Ujuru, is an indigenous word for paper bark tree, a fitting name for someone so gifted at putting pen to paper. A lifetime activist for indigenous rights, Nunakul began writing poetry to give voice to the disenfranchised and dispossessed Aboriginal people of Australia, and her political poems drew much needed attention throughout the civil rights movement of the 1960s, all the way up to her death in 1993. In one interview, Nunakul explained that whenever she encountered a story or of abuse or injustice regarding her people, she would simply go home and write a poem about it. Ujuru Nunakal is Australia's first ever Indigenous poet to have had her work published and she won many literary prizes throughout her career. She produced five collections of poetry and prose and her popular collection of poems, We Are Going, released in 1964, made her the highest selling poet in Australia at that time alongside CJ Dennis. Critics' response to her collection, however, was mixed and unfairly so with some unbelievably questioning whether Ujuru as an Aboriginal person could really have written it herself. Such was the racism present in Australia throughout that period. Nevertheless, despite the many obstacles in her way, Nunakul was able to successfully convey her pride in her Aboriginality to the broadest possible audience and to popularise Aboriginal rights through her writing. The poem Municipal Gum is an excellent example of what her work has to offer. In Municipal Gum, Ujuru Nudakal explores themes of subjugation, displacement and injustice. The poem's tone is sorrowful as the speaker delves into the pain and anguish of a lone gum tree fighting for its life and dignity in an oppressive urban landscape. The sense of solidarity that the speaker seems to create by striking up a kind of a conversation with the tree imbues the poem with a deep sense of gravitas. Nunakul uses personification to imbue the tree with human-like qualities, but this should not be surprising because this approach is in keeping with Aboriginal spirituality, a system of understanding about the world which sees Aboriginals as being deeply connected to the land itself as an extension of themselves. Hence, 
we must remember that the poetic personification label here is itself very much a Western literary concept that may not actually apply to this poem in quite the same way as it is traditionally understood to function. For New Knuckle, her use of personification may be less a poetic device and more a poetic reality. An interesting idea indeed. Overall, Municipal Gum by Ujiru New Knuckle is a simple but moving poem that uses the extended metaphor of a gum tree to speak of the parallel treatment of Aboriginal peoples in Australia. Structurally, Municipal Gum is a 16 line poem that is contained within one block of text. The lines follow an uneven and irregular rhyme scheme of A, A, B, C, C, B, D, E, E, F, 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 D, G, G, D. Now that is a mouthful. Added to this, some of the rhymes in the poem are in fact imperfect half rhymes rather than full rhymes. Combined, the irregular rhyme scheme, half rhymes, in addition to an uneven use of meter through the poem, helps to support and reinforce the central message of the poem, namely the fact that the lives of Aboriginal people have been messed up by white colonisation. And this reality is reflected in the disorder and subtle confusion of the poem structure itself. As such, harmonious rhymes and rhythms do not have a place in a poem like this one. Poetic techniques. Metaphor. A metaphor is a figure of speech that, for rhetorical effect, directly refers to one thing by mentioning another. It may provide clarity or identify hidden similarities between two ideas. By using this technique, Nunuckle is implying that the indigenous speaker of the poem, and all those of Aboriginal descent for that matter, people displaced from their homes and left to suffer in an alien culture, are akin to a gum tree trapped and broken in the suffocating bitumen of a local municipality, town or urbanised area. The metaphor powerfully captures the hopelessness of the situation and the powerlessness being experienced as well. There is also a secondary metaphor later on in the poem when the cart horse is used as a metaphor for the tree and therefore for the speaker as well. The cart horse, of course, is a beast of burden condemned to obey its master. Enjambment. Another important technique commonly used in poetry is enjambment. It occurs when a line is cut off before its natural stopping point. Enjambment forces a reader down to the next line quickly one has to move forward in order to comfortably resolve a phrase or a sentence. There are examples throughout the poem of this, and in general, the enjambment in this poem serves to reinforce the oppressive atmosphere of the poem, especially in the long middle sections from here you to hopelessness. It's like the oppression being experienced is just rolling on and on and on. The sounds of the words in this poem are also effectively used as an extension of the poem's tone with guttural noises and consonants denoting negative elements within the poem. For example, the section of the poem that compares the gum tree to an abused draft animal makes special use of these techniques. Listen to the percussive and sonically strong use of P, C, B and S's here, like that poor cart horse castrated, broken, a thing wrong, strapped and buckled, its hell prolonged. In addition, a word like bitumen in particular is a harsh and grating word. This word hints at the bitterness experienced by a subjugated people with its hard B and T sounds. On the other end of the scale, however, the ideal world lost to Indigenous people, the cool world of leafy forest halls, makes more use of assonance with its rich O sounds, invoking a sense of sadness about the loss of Indigenous Australian life and habitat. As for the personification mentioned earlier in this poem, its use becomes crystal clear when the speaker says it is dolorous or saddening to see you thus. The speaker here believes the Aboriginals, like the gum tree, face the same sadness and hence the rhetorical question, what have they done to us? 
added to this, there is a sense of hopelessness at the loss of their traditional way of life and culture. In the line, O oh, fellow citizen, Ujiru gives the tree citizenship status, reflecting the Aboriginal belief that all living things and the land around us deserve respect and emancipation. Overall, Municipal Gum is a haunting yet musically compelling poem that draws the reader into the very sad, oppressive conditions experienced by a colonised people and their land. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.